Hey guys, it's Lisa. Welcome to Banning Panning and Beyond and August's edition of the monthly brand pick collab that I'm doing with Lauren Perkins. So Lauren has just recently changed her channel name. I believe it's Living and Loving with Lauren A. So I'll make sure that I link her channel in the description box, but you can also click on the hashtag in the title and it will take you to the videos that we have um, done so far. So this is only our second month of um, doing this collab and we decided this month that we would go with Beauty Bay. So unlike last month when we did Violet Boss where I have got a stack load of palettes um, and other products from Violet Boss, I only have four items from Beauty Bay. So um, the palette that I decided to use um, for this month's look was not it's not going to be the same as what Lauren is using because we didn't actually have um, a palette that was common to both our collections so we just decided to each choose um, what we wanted to to use and just do a look with it it's purely just to highlight the brand and uh, I didn't tell Lauren what palette I was using I think she'll have a fair idea though and uh, I don't know which one she's going to use now I think at one point um, she did actually have this origin palette which I'll show you um, first uh, but I believe she gave it uh, like put it in a giveaway so she doesn't have it now this is a 42 color palette and um, it's all neutrals um, so that is it there a absolutely ginormous um, a palette and some beautiful um, colored neutrals it's got leaning you know towards the the pinks the mustards the oranges the browns um, all sorts um, and I think these the last two rows are, are shimmers and down the side it actually has um, so you can it helps you I'm trying to avoid my ring light but it actually says across here base transition crease liner pop and highlighter so or highlight so that's really good for someone um that's starting out new to makeup and isn't sure but obviously you can do whatever you want um so it's just a guide um so i decided not to go with that one um now you would have um seen uh, i in the past i have actually done um a collab with um Verity from Red Dirt and Stardust, I believe, another Australian um, YouTuber, and Andrea from Pretty as a Peacock um, with the um, Book of Magic palette. Sorry, still still never learn. Um, absolutely love this palette. The, the colour story in it is just beautiful, despite me being scared um, of the blues and teals. It definitely inspired me, and uh, I've used this um, a number um, of times. So I'm not using that one either now. Uh, I'm not using this one. Uh, so I only have one complaint with this palette so far. And uh, that was this shade here, the, the light blue one. I, I believe I can get it to work for me. Um, I haven't used all the shades in this palette. Um, it, it is a very pretty um, palette and mostly um, got good reviews. You can see the, the shimmers in there and metallics are just like very very pretty um but yeah i'm not using that one today either so the palette i did decide um to go with is this fuego palette and it is a, a collab uh, they did with jordan uh lipscomb lipscomb i'm not sure how to pronounce it um i've i'm not familiar with that particular um person that they collabed with but i really really liked the colors in the palette so um, that's it there. So you've got your six eyeshadows and your two highlighters. I did use this one on my cheeks today, but because I've got pink blush on and that was sort of quite um, goldish uh, it, and yellow, it, it didn't blend real, uh, like didn't go real well. So I ended up sort of buffing them in together um, with um, a finishing pattern and, and it looked okay, but it's really toned it down. So I'll quickly um, swatch the palette and then I'm just going to speed through the, the footage um, of me doing a look. And I really like the fact that, like, as much as I love doing challenges, I also like to have um, sort of free reign uh, with creating looks out of um, palettes sometimes. So I didn't, as per usual, get um, any um, face wipes. So this is the 
uh, top row I'm swatching first. So that um, shimmer there, uh, normally I swatch differently. So <laughs> uh, yeah, that looks pretty special. Um, all right, so let me just quickly rub my fingers off and um, get the next three swatched. Maybe I'll do a better job this time. Try and get it actually in the same spot, but. So, um, yeah, so, so far it's a relatively warm, um, other than maybe this shade here. I, the swatches aren't the greatest, like I said, because I haven't cleaned my fingers off properly. So here's the highlighter. Um, so I'll just do that there. That's the highlighter I use. You can see it's quite, pigmented and as um, Andrew from Pretty's Peacock says uh, thumbs are not meant for swatching um, but yeah that's the other one so very very dark so I would probably uh, as a rule still use those as um, as eyeshadows so I'm going to jump off camera I'm going to clean my arm up and then I'll be back um, fast forwarding through the look here is finished look uh how predictable am i who guessed i was going to um come on with an uh, an orangey red lip so uh i actually found this really really quickly and it's another product that i've never used before so it is from kkw beauty um it's one of her um lippies and uh yeah and that's the color there it's funnily enough called peach so i would not think to call this um peach and i paired it up with a perfect match now it is um surprising for me um but it's called um pumpkin um the shade name and it's by lime crime so um great great combo so getting back to the the palette um <laughs> I guess no one's surprised that I went for the more orangey shades. I'm actually really liking um, the look. It is definitely me. And I've, I've noticed, um, I was watching um, Caitlin uh, this morning. I'll link her channel up in the cards. Uh, she, she did a massive haul video um, and uh, it was an hour long and I absolutely loved the whole video. Um, but it came became very apparent that we both really love orange. Now, Nona and I also love orange. We're supposed to be doing a collab series. On, uh, so far, we've only done um, one video in that series. I'm hoping we'll get to do another one soon. It's one of those ones that's just we'll do it when we um, have the time. Uh, so hopefully, yeah, we'll get around to doing another one soon. But I think it's also Danielle from Glamberger. She's another orange lover as well. So yeah, it's probably no surprise that I gravitated towards creating a more orangey look but that said the only shade that I didn't use in this palette was this pink one here so uh, as far as performance um, of the the shadows they blended out beautifully had no kick up in the pan um, yeah just like 
really enjoyed using it to be honest so um, I'm glad that um, this doing this collab with Lauren got me to finally reach for it because it, it was untouched up to this point so um, I will definitely be um, using this again so uh, definitely a, a win for me uh, and yeah I'm curious to see what palette Lauren decided to go with and see what look she created um, for the collab so I'll make sure that like I said I, I link her um, video in the description box you can also click on the hashtag which will take us to all, take you to all the videos um, that we have done which is only going to be four um, at this point but um, good to know for future and yeah make sure that you go and show Lauren uh, some love she is such a, a great person I've really enjoyed getting to know Lauren and uh, she does all sorts of videos whether it might be uh, she's got subscription box unboxing she does haul videos she just does makeup tutorials um, she's doing like a summer weight loss challenge she does heaps of giveaways and collabs so definitely go and check her out i think you'd really enjoy her channel let me know um, in the comments what you think of the color story in this palette whether or not you actually have it uh, i don't believe it's actually available anymore do you like the look that i created um i'm I'm quite quite enjoying it so um, yeah and with that I'm going to um, bid you all farewell and go and actually enjoy my makeup for the day because I don't even know what the time is it's not even 11 o'clock in the morning which is like miraculous for me on a day off to actually have gotten to sit down and do my makeup and film so hopefully I'll get a chance to do some more um, videos today with this look on uh because i got lots to catch up on so thank you everyone uh who's come over to watch this video and support me and um, i'll see you all again soon